Welcome back. I got another Xerox use case for you. This one is the big one, sharing a sharing a site privately. So assuming that you already have a web server, you just need a proxy to get to it. You just need to securely share access with that resource. So taking a look here at the terminal on the left, uh, down at the bottom pane, I'm going to go ahead and fire up my web server on 127.0.1.1. And of course, there's no problem accessing that site on this computer, which is my laptop. I can see just fine, but that's not really the, that doesn't solve the problem. Let's say I want to share this with somebody else. So the first thing that I'm going to do is demonstrate a public share right here with the Xerox share public. I got to give it the URL to the local web server where I want to send proxy traffic. And now if I open this public URL, uh, anybody in the world can get to this site right now. We see the requests flooding in and it looks exactly the same as if we're looking at it uh, locally. So, but what if we want to make a remote website private uh, rather than public? So that's the twist, right? So I, now I'm going to close that window and I'm going to flip my terminal on the, on this uh, left side over here over to another computer where I'm going to run another server, another web server. This is going to be running inside of a container. It's a different application. I'm going to run this HTTP bin application. And then I just need to know what port it's actually listening on uh, since I did publish ports. So I'll put that port number on my clipboard and I'm going to tell, I'm going to do a Xerox Share private. We'll just use the loopback address since I know that's where Docker is port forwarding. And we will share that private port. So now on another computer, I'm able to say Xerox access private and get to that existing site. So I'm going to flip my terminal now on the left back to my laptop. And so here I need to run Xerox access private and then the token. So that's going to give me Oh, I had an extra character in there. There we go. So now on my laptop, I can say I, I can go to the local proxy provided by Xerox on my laptop on this local port 9191 and I see the remote website. So that's for a server running locally on the remote computer. But another common use case, I'm going to hit press Q to quit there, would be to share a, a website that's reachable from a remote computer that's not reachable from my laptop. So for that, I'm going to change the IP address for the private share. And this happens to be the internal IP address of a, um, of a networking device on that network. So now if my if I take my token back to my laptop, uh, simulating what I might do if I were sharing this with a, a third party, is I can say access private, give it the new token. And now on my laptop, if I go to that same address, I'll see the website that I shared from the remote computer. So hopefully that makes sense. And if you have any questions, pop into the forum and uh, and ask us. I'd love to help you out.